Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man here to give you guys a heads up that Silicon Dust has announced their HD Home Run Quattro 4K Gateway, which is ATSC 3.0 compatible. For those of you that don't already know, ATSC 3.0 is a new TV standard set to replace the current ATSC 1.0 standard over the next few years. It's sort of like the digital transition of 2009, except it is not government mandated and is a little bit more complicated than the prior transition we had about 10 years ago. Benefits of this new TV standard include better reception, 4K video, viewing on mobile devices, on-demand content, and more channels thanks to high-efficiency video codec. If you would like more specific details on ATSC 3.0, I have several videos on the topic attached in the description of this video, including me picking up a live broadcast and whether or not you will need an internet connection in order to pick up ATSC 3.0. Silicon Dust's HD Home Run Quattro Tuner works sort of as a wireless gateway. Think of an Amazon Fire TV recast or Tableau. It does not connect directly to your TV set, but rather sends the live TV channels through your internet to be accessed on another wireless device. At $199, this makes the HD Home Run Quattro 4K one of the first affordable consumer ATSC 3.0 tuners on the market. In the past, there have been some ATSC 3.0 dongles out there, but they've been over $1,000 and they weren't really meant for consumers. They were meant for broadcasters to test their signal, which is why they were so expensive. The expected ship date of the HD Home Run Quattro 4K is July, so only about two months away. But before all of you jump on board and say, oh, I'm going to buy this so I can get these new ATSC 3.0 broadcasts in July, I want to make it very clear that there are very few ATSC 3.0 broadcasts live on the air as it stands. Here's a map of the rollout. The areas in orange are on the air right now, so you can see that there really aren't many areas that can get ATSC 3.0. However, the dark blue represents markets that plan to launch by the end of the year. Now, if for some reason you can't locate where your area is on a map of the United States, after all, there are some people on my channel that believe the Earth is flat. Here is a list of markets that plan to launch ATSC 3.0 by the end of the year. I took this at CES 2020. Now, although the Advanced Television Systems Committee plans to launch stations in these markets by the end of 2020, most of you know things don't go as planned. The FCC repack is a prime example where target dates were set for TV stations to move to lower frequencies, but the FCC really screwed things up by making all of them move essentially at the same time. But the lack of tower crews really delayed things to the point that in Philadelphia, there are three or four stations that have been operating at a reduced power for almost a year now because they can't get the work done to move to the new frequency. Now, this is an unrelated thing, but I just want to give you guys a heads up that I do expect delays with the new launch because of recent events and a lack of tower crew. So if you're a technical person and you want to be one of the first people to have an ATSC 3.0 tuner, follow the link in the description of my video to Silicon Dust's Kickstarter. However, I want to make it very clear that most of you out there do not have any live ATSC 3.0 broadcasts. And even when they launch, if you're thinking you're going to get 4K right away, it's probably going to take time for that too. Think of when the digital transition happened. Way before the digital transition, TV stations were able to convert to digital starting in the late 1990s. And even though they converted to digital, you didn't see network programming and even local newscasts go to high definition until the end of the 2000s. That was about 10 years later. I can see the same thing happening for 4K on ATSC 3.0 signals. It's probably going to take several years for TV stations to make the upgrade to broadcast in 4K. It's not like they just buy a 4K camera like what I have and go, oh, we are 4K now. Everyone can watch our 4K broadcasts. There is a lot of equipment they have to upgrade, and it costs potentially millions of dollars in order to upgrade. And it's going to take a little while, especially because many TV stations have lost some revenue sources due to recent events. 
Now, despite my disclaimer that there are very few ATSC 3.0 broadcasts on the air right now, I do want to give huge props to the folks at Silicon Dust for making what I see as the first affordable ATSC 3.0 tuner on the market. I really didn't know when this would happen. I expected it would take at least a year from now for certain manufacturers to say, okay, uh, TV stations are on the air now, we can make an affordable tuner so that consumers can access these signals. But the folks at Silicon Dust definitely jumped on board right away for us technical folks that are very eager to own what I see as a piece of history. The standard is still in kind of what I see as the developmental phase and not all TV stations are going to launch it right away. This kind of reminds me of old forums that I read about from the 1990s where people got a new HD TV set and they were able to pick up these HD broadcasts before the general public. This is very similar. For those of you that want to see a video demonstration of this new tuner by Silicon Dust, I attached a link in the description of this video to their demo. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. Many of you may have some questions about the new standard that I probably already answered in prior videos of mine. So make sure you check the description of this video to several videos on ATSC 3.0, including a live broadcast and several details I go into that people wouldn't even think to ask. Like, do you need an internet connection? How good is the signal? Will it help with reception issues? Follow the link in the description of my video to other videos on ATSC 3.0. If you are on Facebook, like my page at facebook.com forward slash antennamanpa. If you are not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on upcoming videos I post, again, it's also in the description of this video. Thanks again for watching and have an awesome day.